Flashlights are often used in horror games. In this video, we will take a look at how to make one in Godot, and also improve it by adding a battery for the flashlight. Source code for this project is down in the description, and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. I've prepared a simple player and a flashlight, but you can also go on to Sketchfab and download one or make one yourself in Blender. I'm gonna make this a 3D scene and I'm gonna add my model so it's the flashlight. I'm gonna rotate it so it's facing the right direction and right now it's very big so I'm gonna scale it down a little bit on a transform and scale something like 0.2. Select the flashlight, right click it and editable children. This will allow us to edit the mesh of the flashlight. Now you can hit the plus button and search for a spotlight. You can also add other lights. If we search for light, there is directional light, which is the sun, omni light, which is basically just a lamp, and then a spotlight, which fits best with a flashlight. Hit create. You could have it as a children to the mesh, or you could have it outside of it. I'm gonna put it outside, and we can now see the area that it will spotlight on. So I'm gonna rotate it so it's the same direction. Move it out a little bit so it's matching the area that should have light. And now it's matching this area perfectly. Now I can save the scene as flashlight. I'm gonna go into my player scene and on my head I'm gonna instance the flashlight. So that's the flashlight.tcn and I can go into the camera and press preview and put it into the correct position. Something like that is good. You can see that it's quite big. You can change the scale if you want to. I'm gonna make a new scene and this will be our level. I'm gonna make this a 3D scene. Add a CSG combiner and add a CSG box as a child. I'm gonna make the size 100 by 100 by 100. Just kidding. On the Y we can keep it at 1. I'm gonna make a simple material. This will be something dark green. I'm gonna add another CSG shape. And we can make this a cylinder, make a new material for this. And I'm going to make the color for this brown, something like that, dark brown. Another one that will be a sphere and new standard material, albedo, and make this dark green as well. So this will basically be a simple tree. Move it up here and we can increase the radius uh, to one. And now we have a simple tree. I'm going to duplicate it and move a couple of trees around here. And then I'm gonna select the CSG combiner and enable use collision. Now all of the CSG shapes will have collision. And now we can drag in our player to our scene. And we're also gonna add a sun. So in the top middle, you will see these three dots and you can hit add sun and add environment. On the world environment, we can open it up and we can go into volumetric fog. And if we enable this, our whole scene will get fog and this is common in horror games and it will also make the flashlight look a lot better. I'm gonna increase it to 0.2 to show it off better and now if we save this as level and we play it and we walk up close to a tree we can see the flashlight. It's not that powerful right now. I'm gonna go into the flashlight and on the spot and on light we can increase the energy. I'm gonna make it the max energy you can even make it higher than this if you type in your own value but i think 16 is fine for this you can change the color of the light and if we drag this out you can also change the range most horror games have a really short range for the light but i'm gonna put this to something like 10 you can also change the angle so 30 i think is pretty good and now on the flashlight scene I'm gonna rename this to flashlight as well, so that we will know it's a flashlight. We will add a script onto our flashlight and we can just call it flashlight. I'm gonna remove these functions and you can make a script for the input. So input, we want the event input one. And then you can, the input we wanna check for, we can go into project settings and input map and we can make a new action. And this action can be toggle, we can press enter to add it, and the event we want to look for. So we hit the plus button, 
and we can press on mouse buttons so that's the left mouse button and then you press ok now the toggle input will be the uh, left mouse button event so we can do if the input is action pressed and the one we want to look for is our toggle then what we want to do is get the spotlight so we can drag that into the script and the value we want to change is the energy dot light underscore energy and we can make this equal to 16 and then we can do an else statement and we can copy this line and we can make it equal to zero and what this does is that if the action is pressed it will make the energy 16 and else it will make the energy zero so now if we go into the level and we play it and walk up to the tree well, now when we press our mouse it will flash the light you might want to add a energy for this many games have a battery for the flashlight and a simple way of doing this could be on the flashlight we can add a progress bar let's put the max value to 1000 and put the value to 1000 if we go into the 2d view we can actually see the progress bar i'm going to drag it out a little bit and i'm going to center it to the screen and we can make the steps one and now if we go into the script we can add another condition to this if statement so we can do and and we can drag in the progress bar and what we want to check is the value so if the dot value is more than zero and to show it off for the value going down i'm just gonna make a new function and for this uh, physics process will work i'm gonna drag in the progress bar and do dot value minus equal one that will make it lose one over time so if we go into the level and play this it's going down right so right now it's working whenever we want it to and soon it won't work because of the progress bar being zero so now it's zero and we can't flash the light and right now the battery is losing value all the time and you don't want that so you only want it to lose value when it's turned on so to do that you could do if the spotlight is light energy is equal equal to 16 then you will lose the value so if we run this again on the level it will lose energy when the flashlight is turned on and when it's not turned on it won't lose energy and that's how you want it to work now when it's flashing all the way to zero it should turn off yeah it turned off and we can't flash it anymore another thing that you might have noticed is that the energy is going down when the scene starts i want to rename the progress bar to battery and also change the progress bars name to battery you might have seen that it's going down when the game starts and that's because we have set it to 16 when it starts so that's just turning it to zero and it shouldn't have that uh, problem if we run it again now it starts at 100 energy and it's working thanks for watching and special thanks to our ko-fi members for making this video possible if you want to support our work and have your name featured in future videos, check out our Ko-Fi in the description and we will see you in the next one.